Man is not worried by real problems so much as by his imagined anxieties about real problems. I used to have major anxiety and even though I wasn't necessarily diagnosed with it, because I would have like the symptoms of constantly feeling anxious, constantly thinking about like the negative outcome of things and just always worrying about something. To me, I characterize that as somewhat level of anxiety and also seeing how that played a role with my day-to-day -day life and how things turned out because I was constantly in an anxious state. So there's been certain things that I've just been more mindful of and then just learned to change my mindset on it that has made me not only like become more calm but it's made me a more of a happier person and it's made things go into a different perspective and I think when it comes to anxiety is number one realizing where the anxiety is coming from, number two learning what triggers it, and number three learning how to navigate it when it does come up. So so if that's something that you're like trying to get a hold of and feel like you're struggling to get your anxiety under control, hopefully one of these four things, if not all of them, could help you of just changing your mindset when it comes to anxiety and being able to no longer have it be as controlling over you as it was in possibly the beginning of this video. Hi guys, I'm Alexandria and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, welcome. Today I really wanted to switch it up because I feel like I've been talking about like healthy eating for several of my videos and I really want to like start focusing on overall wellness and the things that have helped me along my journey of prioritizing wellness, things that I've learned, things that I've struggled with and just tools that have really like help me along my own personal growth journey. So the first one is learning to let go. I feel like I have one of those type of personalities where it's like I try to control everything and I try to control the outcome of things and when I can't see the outcome of how it could turn out like it overwhelms me. And one thing that I realized is like any single time like I've tried to control an outcome of something it's never turned out the way that I expected ever. Like it's always turned out in a whole different way that I never foresaw it actually working out so one thing that has really helped is just learning to let go because what I realized is like the way I see things is from my own perspective like I'm only seeing it from literally like my point of view but there are a whole bunch of other factors in place that is happening that I have no control over so I think my last relationship like traumatized the shit out of me because in my current relationship I constantly wonder like oh my god if what what happens if the same thing happens as the previous one and then it's just like I overwhelm myself on all these negative types of things and I think when you do that you don't realize like how you're possibly going to low-key like contribute to that actual outcome because if you're constantly focusing on things negative you're going to respond in ways of what your brain thinks is going on which could possibly potentially lead to that type of outcome so one thing for me of what I've learned to do is just be like you know what if god forbid something negative does happen then what can I learn from this situation like will it suck yes will it hurt possibly but what can I learn from the situation that I'm going through um, if that does happen rather than and wondering if it's going to happen and the same thing I do with my job because I work per diem and so there will be days where like I'm not on the schedule and then at first I'm like oh my god what if they fire me oh my god what if they stop giving me days oh my god what if they let me go and I'm like girl you've been let go before like you've worked it out like anything that has happened you've been able to work it out if it does happen just like learn to keep your expenses low learn to manage your money and just focusing on the things that you can control and so that's one thing that has really helped me of just learning to let go because the more I try to hold on the more that it just drives me mentally insane and uh, it either doesn't happen and I spend all this time worrying about it or it does happen but it happens in a way that I didn't even anticipate happening so therefore it was so pointless for me to worry about it anyway so one thing that I've just learned to do is really let go and just let things in life play out because they will play out how they will play out whether it works in my favor or not it will play out how it plays out so if you're someone who tends to have like a lot of control and not knowing how to relinquish control and that gives you a lot of anxiety focus on the things that you can control and have like scenarios of like if this does happen then I'll do this if this happens then I'll do this but don't constantly focus on the thing of what could possibly happen and it hasn't even happened yet 
The second mindset shift is realizing that I always recovered and honestly even better than where I was. One question to ask yourself is when is the last time something negative happened to you and it ended up to be a blessing? I'm pretty sure we all have some type of scenario to where something negative happened to us, but then it ends up actually turning out to be a blessing. Like you never know how things are playing out as they play out. And it's funny because like the last several months I'm having conversations with God because I'm like, uh, what did I do? Because it was just like constantly like negative shit just like happening. And I think if I was still in like that old like mental space, like I would have probably just been like, complaining a lot but because I've realized that I don't know what is being worked on while all of this crap is happening I've just learned to be like you know what let me complain about it for like 20 minutes and then let it go so what I realized is like realizing that everything always ends up working out and I always recover from it so one example of this is back in 2021 me and Kevin were trying to find our apartment and we didn't want to stay in the city just because like it was just way too expensive so we were looking into moving to New Jersey and there was only one apartment that I actually found that like checked off all the boxes and then in December all of a sudden she calls me and she's like hey we actually Actually have the apartment available are you still interested and I'm like hell yeah I'm interested all of a sudden my supervisor is just like hey I'm be scheduling some meetings with people on Tuesday I have a call with her and she's like yeah we have to let some people go just because of like the whole thing of like budget and stuff so I'm like you have got to be shitting me so we ended up just giving up the apartment and then literally a week later I ended up getting a new job and then all of a sudden, I wasn't really liking how things was going at that job that I had started. And then so I'm like sitting in the park one day and then Kevin calls, he's like, do you wanna move to Florida? And I'm like, yeah. And so then we moved to Florida and now we're at my dream apartment better than what I anticipated. All the things of what I would want in the future are things that I'm able to get now just because of all the negative that happened before. So one thing that I just really learned is like understanding that number one, I will always recover from whatever negative situation that's happening. And it usually ends up turning out better than I expected. I just need to wait until it plays out because you never know how something is possibly playing out. And it may be playing out in your favor even better than you anticipated. It just needs time to work itself out. This one has probably been uh, the most um, real I've been with myself and the most honest I've been with myself. And that is understanding that if I want to live a long life, shit will happen. What I realized is like, for me personally, like I wanna live till I'm past 90. I think that would be a cool thing of doing. And I think like realizing like, hey, if you wanna live past 90, number one, you have to take care of your mental health, you have to take care of your physical health, exercise your muscles, like you have to do certain things to make sure you could actually live that far. So one thing that I've just started to realize, I'm like, Bruh, if you want to live a long life, stuff is going to happen. Like no one leaves this earth unscathed. Like I think that's how you pronounce the word. Like I just had that realization. I'm like, who are you to think that nothing should happen to you? Like, of course you would hope that like nothing traumatizing and bad happens. But at the end of the day, like we're all going to go through some shit. We're all going to have to experience some shit where it's just like, this sucks but it's happening and it's like navigating how to go through that process and that phase that you're in that's probably not like the highlight of your life right now but honestly i realized like when you do go through those things it's just like that's the things you have to remind yourself like you've been able to like go through this and recover from it and get through it and one thing that bothers me sometimes is like when people constantly have something to say about another person of like how they should have done this better, how they should have done that, like why they should do this. And I'm like, bro, you like no one has their life together. Like no one has their life together. There's people that have figured out things that have worked for them, but they had to go through shit before they realized of what worked for them. And I feel like the more we let go of nitpicking on others and um, finding fault within others, the more we let go of making sure that everything has to be perfect with us because the more you judge others the more you're judging yourself what I realized is like when I let go of judgment and just be like you know what it is what it is and that person's gonna do what they want to do as to me as long as you're not hurting anyone as long as you're not like literally like causing havoc to the world like 
find what works for you. I think it's also realizing like you're also going to go through some stuff in the world. Like you're not going to leave this world untouched because I, I don't know what movie it is, but it's like a, a either a movie or just something that I realized is like when something is positively happening to you, that may be negatively affecting someone else. And then if something's negatively affecting you, it's possibly positively affecting someone else. So one thing that I just started to do, like if something negative is happening with me, I'm like, you know what? Someone else is getting their blessing right now. So when you're going through like phases of feeling anxious about what you're going through and feeling anxious about like how things are going to turn out, just start to realize like one thing I just started to realize was paying more attention to why I'm feeling that way and what I could do to get out of that mental state. So for me personally, when I was trying to figure out like what kind of business I wanted to start in and doing all these things and realizing nothing's working and realizing I was confused as fuck, one thing I was like, all right, maybe I just have to go back to work because I'm having too much stress of trying to figure it out and then watching my income would go down and uh, I'm not really getting anywhere and so when I started to go back to work one thing that came up was the option of working per diem and it was like almost similar to uh, of things always work itself out better than it was before because I didn't anticipate ever going per diem like I, it was either I was trying to go part-time and I was like looking for jobs of part-time and then I ended up getting a per diem position that pays well so it's like no longer that stress of like focusing specifically on money is now focusing specifically on finding out where I belong and while also doing this job to where like I get satisfaction out of it I can learn something from this position it pays well and I don't have to work five days a week like it's a check mark on every single thing of the above so one thing I just realized is like instead of feeling anxious and like worried about how things aren't working out use that anxiety to then and realize like why you're feeling anxious and then what you could possibly do to offset that anxiety so another thing of a mindset shift that has really helped is just realizing that if I want to live a long life things are going to happen and is not really trying to dodge stuff happening but realizing like how you could grow from that experience and what you can learn from that experience and then move forward from that experience and the last one pretty much sums up everything and that is seeing the lesson in it and how you could grow from it so one thing I had to learn is instead of constantly seeing everything in a negative and worrying state is to then see it as like oh what is this trying to teach me what do I need to learn from this how can I grow from this what can I do differently because when I then focus on that part instead of like worrying of it going in down the same rabbit hole I'm now focusing on how to evolve myself and how to better myself and how to avoid those situations rather than getting into the situation and now being anxious about the situation and now like trying to dig myself out of a deeper hole so one thing that I've just really learned of paying attention to is if there's a new challenge that is overwhelming me or if there's something that's happening that's giving me a lot of anxiety is to number one take a minute to like just dwell in it. I'm going to be anxious about it. I'm going to worry about it. And I know that's my personality, but I can make it last a shorter time. Before it used to last like weeks and months on end. And now it lasts like a couple of hours before I'm like, okay, now what do I do? Because if I'm focusing on now, what can I do? What can I learn from this? How can I grow from this? I'm now focusing on a space of no longer staying in that same spot, but instead learning from that spot to then move to a different spot of now managing something that I've never experienced before or feel overwhelmed with. So those are the four things that have really helped me with just learning how to overcome my anxiety and having a calmer mind. I really hope this video was helpful, especially if you're someone who um, tends to be anxious a lot and um, just feels like you're constantly going into the pattern or just feeling like you're stuck and in a rut because these are things that I really went through, um, especially in 2022, where I was just like constantly in a rut and it wasn't until I just changed my perspective on a lot of things that I started to see things from a different point of view and then realizing like hey if you want to live a long life things are going to happen like realizing like anything you go through it's temporary eventually it will pass realizing that 
It's not how things happen to you, it's how you respond to it and navigate it. And realizing that you can't control everything and just learning when to let go. I do still have moments where I have like anxiety and get anxious about certain things, but it's honestly never to the same extent as it was in the past. And I realized I just find myself complaining a lot less. Like I'll like bitch about something for like a minute just to get it out because I feel like that helps so I think journaling honestly really helps as well like one thing I do is have like my journal in my phone like I tried doing like a writing journal but I just realized like that doesn't work for me because I just feel like it's easier for someone to just like open up and read it and so with my phone it's always with me and if it's not with me then it's a journal where you have to put in a code to get access to it I think once you start to notice the habit within yourself of why you are responding a certain way to certain things that's when you're able to navigate how to change it so I I hope this video helps with you and your anxiety of maybe not eliminating it but finding like different ways of reducing it but I hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely let me know which one resonated with you the most I'm not a doctor or a psychologist or a psychiatrist so please don't hold that against me but thank you guys so much for watching if you found any part of this video valuable and you're not already subscribed definitely think about hitting the subscribe button and if you are already subscribed thank you guys so much for for returning back and if this is some type of content that you would like to hear more of um definitely let me know because i'm really winging it here and i don't really know <laughs> what kind of videos you guys would really want so i'm leaving that up to you guys to also tell me if this is something you would like to hear more of i really like psychology i really love health and i really love philosophy like those are my three like top videos that i really enjoy of just like consuming and when it comes to books of reading so that's Definitely let me know what you guys thought of today's video, uh, if you found it helpful, and I will see you guys in the next video.